you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad that you're here. If you like seeing my videos, please give me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, all the good things. And um, I'm gonna show you what I found at the Denver bins when um, I went to uh, the outlet just, um, just yesterday. So I'm getting ready for Christmas. I hope that you guys are too. Love my new Christmas sweater from my mom. She always <laughs> makes sure that I'm well decked out. This is perfect for us since we travel a lot and I like to go to the bins any time that we are in a town that has them. So in the comments below, let me know which bins I should go to, which bins are closest to you. Let's get started. I'll show you what I found. Um, first, I am gonna show you everything, even the stuff that I get for me because I shop for me and my family and my friends and anybody that'll let me <laughs> when I'm at the bins. So um, full disclosure, you're gonna see it all. I always find Christmas cards and I only needed one this year. I don't send Christmas cards, but I wanna make sure that I have one for my mailman. He comes to my door and picks up my packages every day and I'm so grateful for him. So I have um, a gift card that I stopped and picked up at Trader Joe's and I wanna make sure that I put it in a Christmas card for him. So I'll put those out with my packages in just a little bit. But books at my outlet are really cheap. They're like a quarter. So that includes DVDs. This is for when we go in the camper. We're gonna watch videos, um, watch movies while we're camping. I also picked up a book for the grandbabies. Oh look, another book for the grandbabies. Oh wait, <laughs> another book for the grandbabies and coloring book for them to, to play with when they're at my house. Um, a fun little thing to send to a friend of mine. And I don't know if you guys remember these. This is from uh, the 80s. And when you went to the carnival, you could like pick a duck or shoot hoops or throw a ball and hit the milk jugs over and this is what you would win. So. I didn't research it. It just brought back memories to me. I may sell it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's the cost of a book. So it was a quarter for me. My kids have been real into puzzles during quarantine. Have you guys, have you been doing a lot of puzzles during, during quarantine? <laughs> but sometimes when you have a smaller space, you have to roll it all up. And we kept looking for one of those and everything has been sold out with all the puzzles. So this is for us. We're going to be using that later. Also got book rate on this. This is paper. So they considered it a book, a book rate. They're big envelopes. I do pick up big envelopes or manila envelopes when I see them. These are great for shipping. Smaller blouses or shirts can go in here. I slide them into one of these envelopes, put my label on them, and I send them out the door. This was great pricing. Not everything can go in one of these. And to dress it up, sometimes I'll put like washi tape that I find in the bins or a rubber stamp on it just to make it cute. Not everybody's into that, but I wanna make a good impression on the items that I send out. So especially if you use Poshmark, I don't use a lot of Poshmark, I do use it and I probably need to be using it more. As soon as I use a listing service, that will probably make it easier for me to cross post. I haven't done that yet. So let me know in the comments below what you use for cross posting. Do you use List Perfectly? Do you use Vendu? I'd really be interested to find out your feedback on what you guys use for listing. I've already posted about this on my Instagram. <laughs> this was calling my name literally so this one's coming home with me this one came home with me and i'm going to hang it up on my office wall so this looks kind of a mess it is the base or it is a base for this christmas tree so these hold a very special place in my heart because my grandma owned a, a ceramic shop when I was a little girl and she made these. So I have one that she made years and years ago 
but um, this is not the traditional base that goes with this kind of a Christmas tree, but I love it that it is so unique and so different because these things go for bucks. Um, and it is vintage. It's got a vintage cord on it. It's got this little push button light switch right here, which I think is hilarious. Um, and I just need to get more lights, more little pegs to put on it. Thankfully, my aunts still have a lot of the Christmas trees that my grandma did. And I think I might be able to get some of the little pegs lights to go in them. The pegs were actually in the bin, but somebody else grabbed them before I could get to them. But I was really focused on making sure that I got the base. Oh my gosh, look at this. Rebecca Minkoff. And she's in pretty good condition. I was really surprised to see her in there. Um, and she smells good. You know how I feel about the way things smell. So she's in really good condition. Um, very few little um, surface scratches or damages on them. So really nice find there. I'm, I was really happy with that. Cute little hat. Um, this is for from Gorwin Brothers. Um, they have a nice little shop in Boulder on Pearl Street. And I've been in a few times and they've got some really classy looking hats. This will do well. This is a um, suede feeling jacket. I'll have to look and see. I'm not real sure that it's real suede or real leather. I don't know. It feels really buttery, so it could be. But this brand, um, if you haven't picked that up before or if you haven't um, researched that brand, it's a really nice store in downtown Denver at the Fancy Mall. They have a shop there. Um, and the men's clothes for me seem to do better than the women's clothes, but let's look and see if it's leather. Oh, oh yeah, the shell is calfskin leather. Ooh. Um, so Fakanobel is actually, it does, it does well. The suits and the wool uh, pants and stuff always have done well for me for men's clothes. So I'm, I'm hoping that the leather jacket does even better. I scored pretty good on Lululemon yesterday. So I have a pair of the, um, and they're all pants, which is crazy, but Lulu with the wider leg, which I don't know if you've noticed, but it's coming back. They have it in store now. So um, where maybe six or eight months ago, I wouldn't have picked up a wider leg pant. Now I am because they're coming back in style. I'm gonna throw all of it over there so that I can add it to the laundry pile. These are um, also Lulu hot pink. Those are some capris. These are like a, a capri also, um, a gray. See the little Lulu on there? And a pair of speed shorts. So all of them were in really great, great condition. I do wash everything before I uh, get it listed. So even if it just needs to get a, a freshen up, that's all of them go through the laundry. Um, boy, look at the shine on that bag, huh? Kipling. Kipling has been a good uh, handbag for me for quite a few years, but recently they sold at Urban Outfitters and it made the prices of them... Um, I guess not go up, but the sell-through rate was a lot quicker. So, man, this bright color, and again, not a lot of surface scratches. I was excited to find that one, too. I get excited to find all the things that I find. <laughs> this is great, right? Um, a little Patagonia kids' coat, obviously reversible, so it can be fleece, or it can be like a, a windbreaker. I'm not sure what I didn't even didn't even look to see what size it was. Usually if it's reversible, the sizes are in the pockets. But I don't see a size on it anywhere. Ugh. Sizing is important whenever you're trying to resell anything. Um, I have found great shoes that I can't really sell because I don't know the size. Sometimes if it's really good, 
I just measure it. So I'm gonna measure this one and I would say it's probably a six to 12 or a 12 months. Too small for my youngest grandbaby. How about that? It's a Madewell sweater. A little bit of pilling, but I'll just shave that off and get it listed. I know that Madewell does well for a lot of people. So how do you do with Madewell? Do you pick it up? Do you see it a lot? Tell me about your experience with that. This is a cute little cooperative dress. Man, lighting is almost too good in here today, right? Um, a little cooperative dress with Scotty dogs on it. Nice light, light weight. Ooh, I saw that little pink tag sticking out of there and I thought, mm, she is going to be mine. And in good condition. Great little sweatshirt, right? She's a size. It says extra large. Even better. Woohoo! Little um, gathering on the sleeves. Ugh. That was one of my favorite vines. And look at this cropped bulky sweater from Zara. Very Christmassy. I'm probably a little late in the season to be able to get that out, but she's a size small, but look how roomy that is. Crazy color, right? I'm not a Disney um, fanatic. I, I like Disney. I've been to Disneyland. I've been to Disney World, but I, I don't um, pick up a lot of it because I'm not sure which is super hot and which isn't. Although Stitch seems to be pretty popular. Does pretty well. So this is a sweatshirt from, it just says Disney. It doesn't say that it was from the parks. Um, and it's a medium. But very little pilling on it. So cute, right? I'll probably get it listed as an auction just because I'm not sure what to expect with it. Man, have leather pants been popular this season or what? I picked up two pair leather pants, faux leather. These are H&M, but I don't know if you can see that, but they've still got the new sticker on them. So these are a size six. Probably we'll see if the kids want them before I take them and list them. But Pilcro and the letter press, yes, look at these green leather pants. Woo, size 29. So, anthropology, of course, and um, in good condition, very little wear, it appears. So, um, and I believe these are a faux leather. Yeah, it doesn't say that they're real leather, it just says that they're no, it doesn't say that they're real leather. That means you can wash them even better. Okay, who doesn't love to pick up a good cool shirt? So this is a medium and I would say it's a women's medium. I don't think at least the way the sleeve looks, I would say it's a women's medium. It's way too small to be a men's medium, but still will do really well for me. These jeans don't look like they were hardly even worn. Eileen Fisher. One bag down. Let's move on to this bag. Look at these boots. My husband saw them on the top this morning. He says, oh, those are good looking boots, right? They are good looking boots. They're a size, oh, they're wigwams, size eight. Cute though. Size eight is a good size. It's a pretty standard um, average size. I have great big feet, but seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, they all do really, really well for me. Uh, cashmere, I always look over a good cashmere sweater. This one has got some pilling that I'm definitely gonna have to shave. But Tahari um, generally is a good um, brand if you go to buy it at the store. I'll probably use it, uh, take it to a consignment shop that I know that does well and loves cashmere. 
So I'll probably take it over there to them. So I've told you about my mom and how she always makes sure that I am well dressed at Christmas time. I have a hundred of these Christmas sweaters, but my mother-in-law, I have the best mother-in-law in the whole world. I'm super lucky. She was looking for cotton sweaters. I found three, but I only picked up two and they smell good. They've recently been dry cleaned, which is nice, but I'll still go get them cleaned because they've been in a bin. Um, a Lorraine even. So this is a great size for her. It's um, the cotton sweater that she was liking. I'm gonna send these to her and I'm excited. I hope that she really likes them. This is a free people um, movement. So you know how they have their um, athletic or leisure wear or athleisure line, little hoodie. And I love the way it has that cross um, neckline before the dual pocket. Another cool. Sometimes I don't find it like ever, but found it twice today, yesterday. This is an extra small sweater with a like a waffle knit. Pretty basic uh, color and it'll sell well too. Ha ha a better sweater. These always seem to have shaving that has to get done to them, but definitely worth the effort. So this is a men's extra large. What a great size, right? Uh, charcoal color. I looked it over. It doesn't have any flaws other than the pilling that needs to be addressed. So I'll get that washed up and get it listed right away too. I don't know how this got in there. I think I thought um, I was going to, I don't know. This was a, in the bottom of my cart. I'll take it over to the, to my uh, consignment store. They like it whenever I bring over uh, shopping bags for them. Um, they use them quite a bit to recycle, uh, which is great. I'm all about that. Feeling like you're doing your part to help the environment. Let's keep this stuff out of the landfills, especially whenever it's new with tags. What? This is um, a Gap corduroy pants. These are an extra long. 30 extra long, a boot cut, which is super good right now. Um, me being a tall person, understand that extra longs are wonderful and hard to find. The sell through rate is uh, better for me on an extra long or a long um, than just a regular size and even better than a short for me. Um, maybe you have found something different. Let me know in the comments. Boy, has this got some flavor to it. Look at that. This is a Hatley, and um, it didn't have very much uh, use or wear to it. It didn't appear. So um, this is definitely a eye grabber. It feels nice. It's a good quality. It doesn't have hardly anything going on with needing to be cleaned too hard. So I'll just take this over to the dry cleaners. Jackets have been super trendy lately, haven't they? Look at this. This is a theory. Um, it looks like the size zero. So it's a smaller size, but it's a good item and it doesn't have any holes or tugs or snags or anything on it. So um, I'm going to get that one cleaned up. I've used dry L sheets um, to do some of my cleaning. Have you guys used that? Is there anything that you like to use instead of necessarily taking everything to a dry cleaner? What are your tips and tricks? Leave the notes in the comments. I want to, I want to hear about them. Tommy Hilfiger, cute little shorts, right? New with tags. They're a size four, and who doesn't love a good chino? <laughs> I guess maybe it's just me. I don't know. I like a good chino. How fun is this? <laughs> Do love a good uh, Grateful Dead bear. So this is such a great lightweight tunic blouse. I do look everything over as as well as I can, but I always miss things and bring things home and find flaws later, but I try to be pretty thorough. This is a J. Crew, 
um, a large, lightweight, so this is more of a spring piece um, blouse. It's like a funky olive khaki color, but it is um, from the J. Crew store. It's not from J. J. Crew uh, factory. You can tell because there's no two little dots underneath the J. Crew. So I, I do try to pick those pieces up um, more so than the factory. However, I do pick up factory. This one is also J. Crew. It's a number two pencil skirt. These um, plain little black quality um, skirts are always a good bet. Um, they don't they don't always sell super quickly. However, there's a lot of school programs like band concerts and chorus concerts and FFA where they need to have a plain black pencil skirt. So I do always look for ones that are good quality. I had to research this thing. First of all, I had to figure out how it's supposed to, it's got this weird like flappy shouldery thing here and it um, like crisscrosses there, but in the back it does this whole funny little thing. But this brand, I don't know if you um, have picked this up before, but the comps on it were pretty good. But when you looked them up online, I didn't realize how expensive they were to start with. So I definitely grabbed that. I love these kind of sweaters. These fisherman sweaters are great. Um, this one, I have sold that brand before. They're a little heavier, but worth the pickup. I saw somebody looking at this one and I thought for sure they were gonna pick it up, but they didn't. <laughs> Vintage 80s denim jumpsuit. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have somebody model this because it's got the shoulder pads, the, um, the studs and everything. It doesn't have a size on it. Um, D Frank, I don't know that brand. <laughs> Look at the beading. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to see this. The pleats right here on the front. Uh, could be 90s, a little bit Reba. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get that washed up and have somebody model it for me to better show what it looks like. Look at this. Christmas plaid was in my destiny yesterday. So these are some vineyard vines, size four, cute little zipper detail on the bottom. These are skinnies. Um, good condition. Smelled fine. Still going to wash them. These are J. Crew Factory. See how you can see the two little dots on the underneath side of the J. Crew. So J. Crew Factory. These are a little pixie, um, like a capri or a clam digger. It says it's a stretch size 14. I think a plaid is fun. Um, these are kind of a not leather, but they've got like a little sheen to them. These are some Joe's jeans. Oh, just kidding. J. Brand. So let's see, what size are these? They're like a hunter green, which is a super popular color right now. A 26, no pulling across here, no staining, um, not a lot of wear it seems. So I'll get those washed up too. When you guys do jeans or pants, how do you lay them out? Do you lay them like all the way out with their legs all the way out? Do you fold the legs? Do you have a certain way that you do them? I struggle with those to make them look good sometimes. So in the comments below, will you let me know how you lay them out? I'd be really interested to see what you guys do. I think I might try a couple of different ways to see um, which way looks best. Hmm. I had to look this one up, Cheap Monday, which um, is a I'll probably get this wrong. Is it a Stitch Fix brand? Anyway, um, it's got this crazy long belt thing that looks like it probably ties up in the front. It's a medium. Um, I think it'll look really cute once it finally gets all tied up together and maybe I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when I get it finished um, and get it ready to list. I debated on this. There's no uh, I think there is a brand, but I don't recognize the brand, but it reminded me of a lot of the shops that we went in when we were at uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Really cool embroidered things. This is 
my first time finding this brand. This brand, I'm kind of going with my gut on this and hoping that it will do well over at the consignment store or I'll probably put that one on Poshmark. This is so pretty. I just love this floral. So it's a cropped blouse with little ruffle sleeves, tied puff sleeves, and it's free people. It's a free people medium, great size. The cropped look, flowered pattern, loved it. Found another flowered pattern and I thought maybe it was another one, but it's not. It's a lucky brand, but isn't it pretty? This is a lucky brand, extra small, but they do kind of run a little bit big. So this style does. And I love the little tassels that they have on them. Lucky brand does really well for me. And it's so lightweight most of the time. So I do pick it up kind of, kind of a lot. Another Madewell sweater. Again, some shaving that needs to get done to it. But not as bad as the other one. The other one has a little bit more shaving to do. I'll still get it washed, um, probably with a dry L sheet. I've never picked up this brand before, never even seen this brand before, but isn't that the craziest, cutest little dress? With the cactus on it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is called Cousin Earl. It's a small, but oh my gosh, it looks like it could be an extra large. <laughs> Cute color. As I was picking it up and, and looking at it and, and examining it for flaws, this lady walked by and she goes, oh my gosh, that's cute. I know it is, isn't it? <laughs> this is a staccato. And I have picked this one up before, uh, this brand, and it has done well for me. I do have a little um, snag that's right there that I'll probably get my crochet hook, little bitty crochet hook, and pull it through onto the other side so that it is not noticeable. This is a Monto. Monto. This has been an anthropology brand in the past. However, this one doesn't necessarily say that it is on the tags. Um, but not everything from Anthro has the for ma made for by Anthro tag on it. Um, this has got a great little tie in the back, cute little lightweight dress. It'll be perfect for spring which oh, can't get here fast enough sometimes. Here we are getting ready for Christmas and I'm already thinking about spring. What do you think of this vintage denim skirt? The, the front panel on it is so sweet. I think this is gonna look adorable on my daughter. Um, look at that vintage tag. So it says that it is a size seven, which means that it's about a four in today's uh, sizing. Kind of forgot i think that i have seen people talk about this brand so i didn't do any research on it i just liked it and um i kind of remember people talking about it so look at the back that open back it says it's an extra small it doesn't really oh yeah extra small another patagonia this is a capoline base layer it feels like it's probably a, a heavier weight or a medium weight. It might even say on the tags, they're pretty good about um, labeling their stuff. No, but there's a style number and that'll help me. But this is a great base layer. And if you're a skier or um, do any outdoor activities, you'll know that uh, everybody needs to have a Kapolein base layer. Two bags down. I'm going to save that one for last. These are my boots and my shoes. <laughs> Who doesn't love good boots and shoes, right? Okay, let's see. Super lightweight, vintage. This is 1983, I think, on it. 1982, strawberry shortcake. Vintage Christmas has done well this year. I think as a lot of people can't get out of the house and, um, you know, want to decorate and make themselves feel better about this whole COVID thing. So this is um, a real nice, lightweight, athletic uh, tank top. It's a Lucy. So Lucy doesn't exist anymore, but the, um, the brand still has a pretty good following. And when you can find it, it 
does well if it's in good condition. I'm not sure if I meant to pick this up or not. I mean, I do, but it's really pretty pilled. But we the free. Look at these knife joggers. And I think I'm gonna keep these. I like the color, I like the feel of them. Everybody likes a good jogger. Those I picked up for us. Me, my kid, somebody. We're gonna find a use for them. These are um, J. Crew Factory, but I picked them up because they are uh, new tags. The tag doesn't say how much it is. So maybe they J. Crew Factory online? I'm not sure. Little pixie pants, um, you know, a little bit cropped, capri, clam digger, whatever you want to call them. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Denver Broncos bikini. And then the back folds down so that it says Broncos across, across the backside. It's a small um, NFL team apparel. But good condition. There's a little bit of uh, wear. Looks like somebody was sitting poolside, but I'll probably put that on Marketplace locally. Cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's adorable. I laid this out on the floor at the bins, sent a picture of it to my daughter and said, what do you think? Do you like this? She says, yeah, that's cute. Great little sweater, kind of a flutter sleeve. I hope I can get her to wear it. It's um, a Sienna Sky, which, you know, whatever. But she thought it was cute. This is um, a Chino by Anthropology Relaxed, size 27. Um, Chino uh, khaki pant, olive green with this detailing down the side. Let me get a good close look at it. Oh, isn't that cute? get those washed up. I've not seen this brand before, but it smelled so good. And it's got, I mean, it's got good fabric to it. It's got kind of a cute style to it, but it's called Intuitions. And when I looked them up, really surprised <laughs> at some of the comps. So I'm going to get this over to the dry cleaner and then hopefully get that online or I'll take it over to the consignment store. Same with this. I'm going to take this to the consignment store. This dress, it's got a, like a funky little fun artist look to it. Salola. I didn't do a lot of research on it because I really feel like it will do really well over at the consignment shops in Boulder. This is one of the first things that I picked up. Um, and it's an Athleta size small, um, nice long jacket, but that cute back on it. So, um, I, I like a good jacket. I like to wear jackets a lot. So this one felt nice and full and stiff. So it did probably didn't get worn very much. Um, and Taylor loft. I don't pick up a lot of loft and I see it a lot at our bins. Um, but it was new with tags, size medium, chambray. Chambray is always good. A cute little jumper. Medium is a good size for a jumper. Originally, it sold for $79.50. This I found just one in one of the bins. Panicked, thought, oh my gosh, I hope I find the other one. Wasn't in any of the bins. So I hung on to it thinking that maybe somebody else would have it and I could pick it up later. It's a sorrel. Sorel, whatever you want to say, tomato, tomato, size eight, but oh, in good condition. Thought, please let me find the other one in the next rotation. It wasn't even in the same rotation. So thankfully I was able to find the second one. So now I have a pair of tall sorrel boots. Oh, so cute. And not a lot of damage. I'll probably take, um, I have a nice leather brush or a suede brush that'll run across the top of them. This was one of the first ones that I found. Good fry boot. Not a lot of scuffs, probably need to get it formed up a little bit. The heels look pretty good. The other one was in the same bin. They weren't rubber banded together, but they were in the same bin together. Always a good find. Love to find fry. Corso Como's, I debated on whether or not to get these, but they don't weigh very much. And I do really consider that whenever I am picking things up, the cost of uh, weight 
to my income ratio. But the snakeskin, good choice this season. So the elastic is kind of cute, a little dated, kitten heel, but somebody will really like them. And they're a size nine and a half, which is a good one. But Corso Como always does well for me. This brand actually does really well too. Uh, Paloma Barcelo, it's a size nine, but look at that basket weave on the heel. Two people walked by and were like, oh, those are really pretty. These things sell for bank, um, new. The used ones also bring decent money, so I'm excited to find those. And I love to find shoes. I love to dig through shoes. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I need two hands and I dig in with both. And I, I like to go through every single shoe because there's been times where I've gotten down to the bottom, flipped over a shoe and went, oh, Tori Birch, hello, good to see you. And then my last pick I want to show you, a pair of Chanel. I did look them over really well. They feel really nice. They look good on the bottoms. I think they're real, which is always something that you got to look at. We found a Gucci purse yesterday and it wasn't a real Gucci purse, so I threw it back. But the girl that picked it up after me was so excited to have it. But these are a size 39. And look at that great emblem on the on the toes. Oh, I'm so happy to find these. So all in all, let's see. I spent um, 69 cents a pound. That was my glass, $5.31 on the Christmas tree. Uh, let's see, book clearance, they were 49 cents each, not 25 cents, sorry, misspoke. So I had eight of those. And then I had 60.1 pounds at $1.39 a pound. So my total was $100.48. So I really enjoyed uh, telling you everything that I found. And I was excited to, I'm always excited to go to the bins. It feels like you're digging for gold, like literally. So I hope you like what you saw. Um, I hope you leave me a message in the comments below to let me know what bins are close to you and what bins I should go to next. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you the next time.